What's up, YouTube Nation? Today is Sunday. Uh, I got my cell phone rocking and rolling. I got it fixed. So I'm going to give you guys back-to-back -back YouTube videos. This one I'm going to put on both channels and then all my new content is going to be on my reserve channel. Because as I told you before, I am starting to run out of space on my regular YouTube channel. And I know a lot of you guys have subscribed, and I did promise I would make part two of the car video. And a promise is a promise. This will probably be the absolutely last YouTube video on my premiere channel that got me very popular here on YouTube. I have two channels that broke out and made me popular, and then I have two new channels that are now doing the same thing as the two channels that I'm about to retire so don't be getting angry or upset that there ain't no more YouTube videos to be watched. It's just unfortunate that on that channel, if I could push some space, I would have to start deleting videos just to free up some space. So I don't want no one to get angry and upset and go, oh man, he ain't making no more videos on this channel. And when I say type up the name Alexander Odin, you're going to see not one channel, not two, not three. You're going to see like at least three to four channels on YouTube. You'll see one of me getting down on my knees and there's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers um, in the background from two years ago. That's my old YouTube channel. The one that has 81 views, that channel's like three years old. There's no new content on that channel. All that channel, if you go to the last video on that channel, it's just going to tell you to go to these channels, which these channels are being retired. So I'm making an announcement that if you see one with the color orange, that's my new channel. If you see one that's in light blue or baby blue or dark blue, those are my channels. So let's have fun with this video because it'll probably be the last one on that channel. If I could push one more video out onto that channel, I would have to start deleting videos. And some of the videos, people are still watching them. So we just can't up and just delete stuff. So I hope you guys understand how difficult this decision was to be made. All right, part two. Now, I got a list of cars. You know, I brought the wrong script out. But, uh, we'll... We'll get back to it, so let me go ahead and get the correct script. Usually this doesn't ever happen, um, but it's first time for everything. Alright, now we got the right script. Now, this one is an electric car. Um, it's 415 kilometers, um, and it is... 258 miles per hour. Do you people know how fast a car like that can go here in the United States? It is 258 miles per hour. 415 kilometers. That's a fast car. And that's an electric car. Where you gotta have an electric, electric charger... So, you can imagine how much money you're going to be out of trying to get an electric car from an electric company with the electric charger. You can't get the car without the charger, and you can't get the charger without the car. You know, they both go together. And it'd probably be like that commercial where they say batteries are not included. It'd probably be something like that. But for a car like this, it's kind of worth it if you're a multi-billionaire or a millionaire ten times over. It's worth that. Hold on, we got a helicopter. Sunday, apologize for the audio, but when we have, you know, helicopter police chapters pass by, or we have construction, there are some noises or some sounds. That I have no control over. So sorry for the audio noise. It happens. Now it's called the Raymac. The Raymac Concept Electric Car. Now I did not make this name up. That's what they actually call this electric car. And this electric car. Um, if it's not out already. It's out in some countries. 
and it, and if it hit, if it is here in the United States, it's probably limited. Like maybe a thousand, maybe if not a thousand, then maybe a hundred copies of this car if it's already here in the United States. And there's only a few electric car companies here in the United States that might design and make that type of car. Now it has nineteen. I think 19,400 horsepower. I'm not sure. I think I could have sworn that's what they call it. 1914 horsepower. So that's 1900 or 19,400 horsepower. So that's a lot of that's a lot of power for for an electric car. So you can imagine how many years it would be before you could just trade in this car. Like it, it might be almost 10, 15 years. Depending on how you use the car, um, with that much horsepower, you might get into maybe not one, but maybe fifteen police chases if you you know you break every violation of the law. So you probably don't want to do that. Now this is I would call one of these the car of the future, and you would have to go to one of those electric gas stations, which there's there's not too many of them, but there are some electric gas stations. Here in the United States, here again, you can imagine how much money that's going to cost you. Yeah, this 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 car ain't for cheap, man. This this type of car, this this type of car is more expensive than all the iPhones combined. That's that's how expensive this car is. Like this ain't no joke. Like you could be a nerd um, in high school or in college, and if you make this type of cash, um, it ain't going to matter if you're a nerd or a geek or a lame or whatever people call you. You have this type of car, um, you're going to be taken very serious. Now, in other countries, they say it's 150 units. Here in the United States, it is about $2.7 million. I'll repeat that. It is about $2.7 million. So, that's like a quarter of a million when they say 2.7. Yeah, you, you're going to have to have a lot of cash for this car, eh? You know, if you ain't got that type of money that Bill Gates got, if you ain't got that um, Steve Jobs type of money, if you ain't got money like Google or Microsoft or Walt Disney, you know, people that are like CEOs of those companies, they can get one, maybe two or three of these if they want to with that type of cash. Now, the next one is my personal favorite, the Bugatti Chiron. This is a car... Strictly made in France. It is a France car. For guys that want to get fancy with dating women. This is the perfect car. If you really want to just score with women. I mean seriously. It's made in France. It was made back in 2016. And you probably can get this in just about any color. Black, red, blue, white. You know. you, you Dark tinted windows. Which here in the United States. You might get pulled over. Um, you can have it specially custom made. You probably put your name on this car if you have this type of cash. You can put your name on the car. You probably could take a character from a movie or a television show and put it onto the car. Now it's 420 kilometers, 261 miles per hour. This is a fast car. Like, you, you you, not only would probably get away from the police with this car, you probably would get away from everyone. And if you have this type of car, you might think you're the Flash. Like, seriously, you might think you're the Flash with this type of car. And its units is 500. 500 units. And its asking price is $3 million. Let me say that again. In other countries, it's 500 units. But here in the United States, it's $3 million. That is an expensive car. You're talking about saving money up for about 5 to 10 years. And if you could get the car, you would barely get the car. In fact, you would probably have to go to a bank and get a bank loan. So even if you save up 5 years or 10 years worth, you might have to stop at a bank and pick up a bank loan or two bank loans to try to attempt to get the car. This type of car will bankrupt you. Like the hard working person, this will bankrupt you. Because this car is $3 million. Like some of the biggest named actors in Hollywood 
would have to make $250 million just so they can get a $3 million car. This is the type of car that rappers like Lil Wayne and Drake um, and Wiz Khalifa and 2 Chainz and Future rap about in their rap songs. You see this type of car in movies, television shows, strictly the James Bond movies. You notice in all the James Bond films, he's all about his car, right? You drive this type of car, you're going to feel like you're James Bond. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world. And it's not going to matter if you're in the States or, or out of the, or, or into another country. People see you with that type of car, they're going to know that you're rich. You ain't got to open your mouth and say anything. And you won't have to tell the women that you're rich. They'll know you're rich because you'll have a car um, that the average person in America cannot afford. Even if I save my money for 15, 20 years, I still couldn't get this car. I'd be like almost 65 or 70 years old trying to acquire a car that's $3 million. Okay? That's $3 million. Most of us don't even have that. So, uh, I probably might make a part three on a new reserve channel as far as um, um, American Mustang cars um, and Chevy Camaro. So, this is part two. We'll see how well received this is on both channels. And depending on how well received it is in the near future, it might end up getting a, uh, it might end up getting a uh, part three in the near future. It all determines how well received this car is. So I hope you guys love part one and I hope you guys like part two. Until then, peace.